Welcome back to Studio 701. Farm to table is an important topic, especially in an agricultural state like North Dakota. It's great to know where your ingredients are coming mm -hmm. from and to support local growers. And Chef Sam from Mabel's All Day is joining us on the show once again. Thank you so much for being here today, Sam. Yeah, thanks for having me. So Sam, I understand you recently had your first farm to barn dinner experience. Explain to us what it means to be farm to barn and how does this first dinner experience Let's go. Yeah, thanks for asking. The first dinner went really well. We had, um, we had about 25 people show up for a what we called an intimate gathering out at Apple Creek Farms. And we did nine courses plated with wine pairings. Mm -hmm. And we had a local musician playing in the background. And for us, yeah, there's some of the pictures of the food. We had a really great time. Um, it was a lot for people. It, it lasted <laughs> about three and a half hours, but it was such a wonderful experience. And all of the produce that we used came from Apple Creek Farm, um, the garden that they have there. Um, we used chickens that they raised there. We used local, um, local pork from um, another local rancher here. And um, it, it was really just kind of amazing to be able to bring all those ingredients that were grown right there and put them on a table in front of people to show them showcase what you can do with the ingredients. Yeah, it sounds like such an amazing event and now you're preparing for your second one. So what is going to be on the menu this time? If you can tell us, I don't know, is that like a secret, Chef Sam? So or? yeah, I can tell you, we, we did sell out of this one. So word of mouth uh, that we were doing a second one uh, spread pretty quickly and then we sold out. But we um, we're doing more of a little bit of an Italian theme. So we're gonna be doing some uh, locally raised lamb. We're gonna be doing meatballs in brodo, which is like this nice kind of warm spiced broth that has zucchini and tomatoes in it. Mm. We're gonna be doing a, um, a ricotta tortellini course that has pumpkin and sage that's grown right there at the farm. Uh, we're gonna be doing some uh, Barolo braised short ribs uh, as well as an entree. And I think for the dessert, we're gonna do like an espresso creme brulee. Something, hmm. something along those lines with uh, possibly a candy lemon or a biscotti, uh, you know. Uh, so it's going to be a great, great dinner. He's making me hungry already, and I'm so bummed because I'm happy that, you know, it sold it out. It sold out quickly. However, good, but now we're I can't sad. attend. Yeah. <laughs> we want to go. Uh, but I was just wondering, from your perspective, what do you get out of doing this and kind of like uh, getting to tap into your creative side and coming up with these menus? I imagine that's something that would be really fun for you. Yeah, it really is. Um, my background is a lot more of this type of cuisine fine dining and courses and um, tasting menus and stuff like that so it's a it's a switch up from our regular stuff that we do on the food truck which is really fun still but um, it, it's just an experience and when when we started our business we wanted to be able to provide different types of experiences like this as well and pairing with Apple Creek Farms has just been a, a dream come true because we now have this great venue that we can um, that we can utilize while the weather's nice. And um, yeah, so we've always wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. And I have to give you a shout out. I said this on the show, my husband had your chicken sandwich from the food truck, Mabel's All Day, and said all other chicken sandwiches have now been ruined. <laughs> So that's a high that's praise good. coming from him. But, yeah. um, you know, as far as how many courses you're talking about, it sounds like an incredible amount of work that goes into this. How much preparation goes into a nine course meal? Um, <laughs> we'll be prepping um, in different stages throughout the week this week. Um, but we have a pasta maker that we just purchased. Uh, and it's a nice, really good Italian made pasta maker so we're going to be using that and we're going to be putting a lot of our energy into making sure that this sort of a dinner and experience for our customers is just right on so it does take a lot of time well let us know the next time you're having one so right. you can get tickets immediately right before they I sell will. out <laughs> and of course you have the food truck that goes around mm -hmm. so for information on where the food truck will be and potentially a future event you can go to uh, Mabel's All Day social media and or email hello at mablesallday.com. You can also call 928-821-0636.
Thank you so much, Chef Sam. Um, that food sounds so <laughs> good. Know. We're going to have to at least get a picture of it or something. But right. Still